Hey everybody, today I'm in Santa Maria del Tule and I'm going to see the Tule tree that is the world's oldest and widest tree Here behind me you can see the tree It's 1500 to 2000 years old It's amazing, let's go closer And it's located in this cute park in the heart of Santa Maria del Tule, a small town in the Mexican state of Oaxaca, grows El Arbol del Tule, the Tule tree, an enormous Montezuma cypress. I'm gonna make you love me. I'm gonna make you love me. Wow. This tree kind is a Montezuma cypress and it is the widest tree in the world. It's one of the secrets of Malaga. And it's, you can see it's 14 meters wide and 58 meters is the crown. said it was planted by a shaman so many years ago so it has seen all the Zapotecs life and also all the Spaniards when they built this church 500 years ago it has seen everything this tree in Nahuatl the indigenous language of the region this species of tree is also known as Ahuahuate which means old man of the water. It is a fitting description given that between 1200 and 3000 years ago, this tree began life in a swampland surrounded by the water-loving bulrush plant called Tule in Nahuatl. That's why the Tule tree has its name. The largest, widest and oldest Montezuma cypress in the world. The tree is World Heritage, so you cannot even touch the branches. So now they covered everything, and even the branches that comes down here, they made an extra security so nobody touches it. It's very nice. This is building. They say that there's a river under here, so the tree has its roots all the way down in that river. That's why it's all the time has enough energy to keep growing and growing. I'll take you to the The indigenous Zapotec people of Oaxaca have long thought of the Tule tree not only as a source of deep cultural pride, but as an immortal symbol of life itself. The tree was planted by a shaman on this secret land, and afterwards they put the church 500 years ago, and it was still secret land. And they, they kept the tree because it must have been huge also 500 years ago. So it is an amazing tree. And look at all this life up there. A legend among the Zapotec tells of the tree being planted 1400 years ago as a gift to the people by Betocha, a priest of the Aztec wind god Ikecatl. Today, El Arbol del Tule is located next to a Catholic church that was built by the Spanish in the 18th century following their conquest of Mesoamerica. Here's the point where it's the closest I can get. I cannot touch it, of course. It's, it's too holy, it's too sacred. Another amazing Tule tree legend from the Mijre people, that is, of the Santa Maria del Tule area, says that the origin of the Tule tree is due to Condoy, an ancient hero. For the Michi people, the area of Santa Maria was a sacred land. 
According to the custom of those who live in the town of Santa Maria of Thule, Kondari still lives on the mountain of Simpo Altepetl. Legend says that a couple took home two huge eggs that they found in a cave. After a few days, a child named Kondoi came out of the first and a seven-headed snake came out of the second. The child that came out of the egg grew up and became a great warrior. The inhabitants of Oaxaca were very fond of him because he deprived the rich of their money in order to help the poor. Kondoi's favorite hiding place was the highest part of the Sempoel Tepetl mountain. Kondoi was an invincible warrior and had enormous strength and there was nothing that could hurt him. For this reason and because of his extraordinary charity, he was recognized as the Kondoi king of the inhabitants of the town. After he was named king, Kondoi walked a lot and decided to rest in a place called Thule. So he placed his 62 kilo walking cane into the ground where he was resting. And from his cane the largest tree in the world began to grow, the Thule tree. According to the legend, the day this enormous Thule tree dies, King Kondoi will also die. When I look at the Thule tree, I must admit that there is something supernatural about it. The age and the size and all the amazing life in the crown of the tree. This was a round trip around the tree of life. Beautiful church also. It's 500 years old. And the ones that founded it was taking Santa Maria del Tule, look how pretty it looks. This is here in front of the church with all the roses and behind all the palms. It's amazing here. It's a beautiful place. the next million years this is called the fountain of the dreams and the desires municipal palace here And the town here.
चुलाते This is cacao with milk, uh, and this is name is tejate, and this is special from Oaxaca, tejate. I'm mixing it with this food. I'm trying it. Eva is an amazing, amazing being, this tree. I hope you enjoyed to see it as much as I did. I feel it was a really, really big experience to see this big tree. Like and subscribe to my channel and see you guys very soon for new adventures. Love you. <laughs>